Yeah, well, this new settlement forbids the federal government from separating migrant families for an eight year period, except if family members are considered dangerous for the public or their children. It's also limited to those who have committed a felony. Now, this all started back after a border official separated at least 2,800 children from their parents under former President Donald Trump's zero tolerance immigration policy. The policy was a key component of the Trump administration's efforts to curb unauthorized immigration. More than 1,000 children were also separated before that rule went into effect in 2018. At that same time, the American Civil Liberties Union sued to halt the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy, saying it caused thousands of children to get separated from their parents while the adults faced criminal prosecution for illegally crossing the border. The agreement filed yesterday in a federal court in San Diego concludes years of negotiations that were part of a class action lawsuit to address the issues and trauma of family separations carried out in 2017 and 2018. If approved, the settlement agreement would provide separated families a special process to request asylum. Border officials would no longer be allowed to use parents' illegal entry into the country as a basis to separate them from their children. The settlement also gives support for families such as temporary housing, medical assistance, and behavioral health services and immigration-related legal services. But it does not provide monetary compensation. However, the settlement could be derailed by Republicans in Congress if they challenge the court's mandate to appropriate money for these services. Now back here live, the settlement still needs to be reviewed and approved by a district judge. Uh, but for now, if it is granted, if it is granted, families uh, could live and work in the U.S. while they wait for the decision of their U.S. Uh, asylum claims. I'm reporting near the border, Regina Yurita, CBS 8.